Hello, this is Victor bringing here a new product review and this time we are going to make a look to the book 5 of Downbringers called The Shadow of the Crown. So we are going to see what is the content, what you get on these books and yeah, and uh, I've been collecting them all so I have not, it, I'm back to re the reviews. I stopped doing them, I was hesitating if I come back but I think at the end, yeah, why not, okay? So the people can see what is in there, if you're interested you can see. I know that I cannot do it at the launch date because I just to buy, I have to buy and wait the day arrives. So I do the reviews, I do, I give my opinion, but um, yeah, I cannot do it at launch date. Sorry for that. Um, what you can see here, um, this book, um, yeah, the, the first thing is that you know that the new edition is coming. So this book will be um, um, useful. The rules in this book uh, can be used until we change edition, unless you don't want to change edition. That is something that I'm really thinking about if I stay on the... Uh, because if I just play at home, maybe I can... I don't need to go to another edition, but yeah, something that to think in mind. Okay, but um, yeah, this is the, the book. It's going to be the first part, the first 40 pages, almost half of the book is, is um, background. Then you have... A, uh, and then you go to the rules, okay? That is uh, more or less the other half of the, of the book. Okay, um, so first, yeah, you have here all the all the rules, all the adventure, all the uh, what is going on with Celestra, with uh, yeah, with the different. Here we have um, Callis and Tall, uh, how and, and they jump from one place to the other. How everything is evolving. Okay, what's happening in Hammerhall? What's happening with the with the what's called this with the Crusades? And yeah, and then we go to Giran, and also you you have the explanation what's going on in Giran, and, and what's happening. Okay, so you you will have here all the background, what is going on on with the history, the evolution of, of the different history, and the evolution of the two crusades that are happening with Umbringan again, all with nice printing. You can see we have really nice printing, um, very colorful. Nice artwork as well, like this guy. This guy is really you can you can enjoy. It. So it's I, I really enjoy these books. Uh, I, even when they are out of edition, these are nice books and um, to have reading and then to look at the miniatures for inspiration and to look at the paint jobs. Here we have Kvithusa, the Concier. Um Yeah, so this is also a new interesting new character. And here we have Kalis and Tall and the different um, uh, companions, right? So we have Hannibal Tall, Armand, yeah, it's a boy, Armand Kalis, um, Lisa Revenia, uh, and then the Mistress Verentia, the Weaver of Whispers, and then Valius, the Keeper of Action, okay? So the, the, the Stone Castle then also. Um, yeah, here you have the nice artwork all, all uh, I like a lot the artworks on these books and how, how I, I think they are quite nice books paint jobs if you need um, them for inspiration really like how this cat is painted it looks very creepy to be fair okay here we have the different and then we have yeah this Celestra here we have here the different the, the battle okay that happening with the ghost Okay, and then we have the different rules, and you have rules for different types of terrain. Okay, and now they put woods on this terrain. So this, I, I, I think for a while that I don't play this. Okay, so you have here rules with the, the rules for the terrains. The bell from Realm Gate is interesting because I have some of these pieces of terrain, so it's going to be useful for me as well. Okay. And then we have the realmscape objects here uh, that are mainly objectives. Okay, and then we have different. And we have yeah, this is a, a attack the strong. So it's a battle plan. Then we have the path of glory information. Okay, if you play um, this main path of glory, if you pay and um, play, um, what's called this? Ah, for what? How they call it? The three ways of gaming is match play. I forgot the name, but sorry for that. But yeah, if you play more like um, 
um, like a background, right? Like adventure games or something like that. Uh, and then you have at the end the rules for the match play as well. So this is for Path of Glory. Then you have here the rules for yeah, this is then the Army of Renown for Kvetusa. Okay, that, and then we have the, the battle traits and the different ways to play her. And then we have the rules for Kalis and Tall and Tall's companions as well with the strong point and then we have the, the different rules for match play that is mainly the strong uh, point assault battle pack okay so it's rules to assault a strong point what can be interesting okay <coughs> you have here all the rules that you need and then at the end yeah you have some match uh, played battle plans and as well the points so if you are curious, Kali is tall and his companions are 350 points and Jethusa, the cons, the corn is 170 points. So, and that's all. So this is all what you have in this book. Um, uh, if you like the Dawnbringers, I'm enjoying them and, and really following the history. This is why I, I like to have the books. I like a lot the... I'm more these days I'm more into the history part and really onto the gaming. I'm more of a background and a miniature painting guy. But yeah, if you... and this is why I like a lot these type of books. So that's all for now. So please let me know what do you think. Give a like if you have liked this review and as usual. Thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye! Taking shots at the enemy I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy If I got something to say, you better let me speak Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything